In this video, we'll look at an example on calculating the price of a floating rate note, or we call it FRN. In this example, we have a 5-year floating rate note that pays 3-month LIBOR plus 2.15%. Calculate the price of the floater if the discount margin is 2.5%. Assume that 3-month LIBOR is constant at 0.8% and use the 30 over 360 day count convention and evenly spaced periods. And we'll assume that par value is equals to 100. So because we assume that the LIBOR is constant or the LIBOR is flat at 0.8%, we can calculate the price of the floater in the same way that we calculate the price of a fixed rate bond. We'll need to know the period, the N, okay, in your calculator. We'll need to know the IY. We'll need to know the PMT, which is the coupon, and also the face value or the principal of the bond. Now this is a 5 year note that pays quarterly, okay, it pays 3 month LIBOR which means it pays 4 times a year. So the number of payments will be 5 times 4 which is 20. And for the interest rate, the yield, that will be based on the LIBOR plus the discount margin. Okay, so the discount margin in this case is 2.5%. So we'll take the LIBOR which is 0.8% plus the discount margin of 2.5% and we'll divide by 4 because it's quarterly paid, so that's over 4. So that will give us 0.825%. And for the coupon payment, that will be based on the coupon rate. And the coupon rate in this case will be the 3-month LIBOR plus 2.15%. This is the, the quoted margin here is 2.15. So we'll take the LIBOR 0.8% plus the quoted margin 2.15%. This divided by 4 and we multiply by the par value which is 100 so this will be a coupon of 0 0.7375 per quarter and the face value will be 100 now with this we can use the financial calculator to compute the price of the floater now in the calculator i will press second fv to clear the inputs so our n will be 20 so 20 n iy is 0 0.825 and PMT is 0 0.7375 and your FV is 100 so then compute PV then you will get a price of 98.393 so your, pr your price here is 98.393 per 100 par and of course depending on the par we can then scale uh, separately so what we observe here is that when the quoted margin which is 2.15% if it's less than the discount margin of 2.5%, then we will have a floater that is priced at a discount, which is below 100. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's why we the price is below the par. But if the quoted margin is greater than the discount margin, then we will have a premium to the par. And if the quoted margin is the same as the discount margin, then the price will be equal to par for the floater. And what affects the discount margin is uh, based on the, it's usually tied to the credit risk of the floater.